Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a short video just showing off the very latest updates uh, for the FS2 Crew Pushback Express uh, app. Uh, it's payware, um, it's 12 or 15 or so pounds, British pounds, um, but I've used it since the um, beginning of the sim actually and uh, I love it. So they've just released uh, another update just a couple of days ago and um, effectively it's gone from just having Airbridge and Tug to having the complete works and I think it's incredible I think it's really good so I'm going to show that to you guys um, in a second once I've sorted it out and here's the new panel so if, you f if it's your first time on the uh, on the channel, make sure you uh, drop me a like and a subscribe, and uh, check out the tutorials playlist as well uh, for loads of uh, content to try and help you get started in Vatsim if it's your first time, um, or even to get you started in the A320 Neo as well. And I hope you find this video useful. Uh, you join me at Heathrow Airport Terminal 5, at the home of British Airways, and uh, let's go ahead and connect a few of these things. And so we know. Um, we got Toggles Jetway and we got Toggles Aircraft Door and they were in the previous one but now they've added uh, fuel truck availability, baggage, power supply, catering uh, and these three have always been in place as well. Interestingly the baggage one says warning do not press while baggage is being loaded on the aircraft but um, let's go ahead and connect the jetway we know this works from before and then we obviously need bags for our flight to Dussel, uh, to Frankfurt today. We're going to fly Heathrow to Frankfurt, it's all in the flight plan. Uh, the aircraft's basically ready to go but um, we'll put uh, the baggage on and catering as well shall we because obviously every, everybody needs to eat on board. There we go, so we've triggered that using Pushback Express. So one app controls it all, we don't have to faff around with the uh, terrible in sim ATC menu to request the baggage truck um, and all the rest of it. Now it's just doosh, here we go, press a button and uh, therefore we get more immersion as well so I highly recommend this um, especially if you're trying to mimic airline operations within a virtual airline for example um, it's just a nice added touch and there we go everybody's working away you could say passengers are being boarded currently as well uh, so I wanted to show you guys this just because um, it's the very latest update from FS2 Cruise Pushback Express program and I think it's incredible. Um, as you can see I've got the gate gourmet modification for the uh, catering truck and uh, if I call the fuel truck as well, um, well it takes a little while to get here, if I called the fuel truck um, it would be BP as well I think. So we go, we've got bags going on and uh, we go into the flight deck because um, we are ready to go and you can see now we're using the A32 NX mod we've got the cargo doors, cabin door at the rear so uh, two, uh, two right and doors one left uh, open doors one left for boarding two right for uh, catering and once that catering truck's done as it's uh, almost done now actually funnily enough and the cargo uh, baggage being loaded we will see those doors get closed and uh, the A32NX mod actually has got the sounds for that cargo door being secured which is quite cool so we'll get to hear that as well so it's quite a short video um, but I wanted to I was quite keen to show it off to you guys we'll just wait for uh, that cargo door to be closed uh, QNH1005 at Heathrow today So we've finished boarding, we can click that button there and we can force the uh, air bridge to remove itself and the door one left then gets closed and secured. Off it goes. And that's the cargo door being closed as well, that nice little uh, electronic whirring noise. There we go. So uh, that is FS2 Cruise 
Pushback Express. It's the very latest. Um, naturally as well they've got voice control and things but I've tried my utmost hardest to get voice recognition to work um, and I've trained my voice multiple times and I just can't get that to work. Um, but it's not an issue because I'm not that bothered by that anyway and I like to use the buttons and rudder control. Um, so we'll go ahead, if it's your first time sort of checking this out as well, we will uh, start a pushback and I'll show you guys um, how the pushback works as well. So we're on VATSIM but there's no Heathrow control at the moment so I just need to announce what we're doing. Um, and for that obviously we need to mention uh, what stand we're at and a few other bits and you can find that by using the charts which I'm just fetching out now parking movement docker chart 513 I think we're at yep the right furthest uh, line to the right Heathrow traffic, Speedbird 58 Mike, uh, Stamp 513, Airbus A320 Neo is uh, push back and starts facing north. So, we can go ahead and just press that play button there. On Pushback Express, if you wanted to trigger loads of pre flight events, you press the clock and it starts a 30 minute timer and automatically connects the air bridge and everything else. So one thing to note, you have to have um, the parking brakes on and your engines off before you can start pushing back. But once you've got through to this point, if you really wanted to uh, not necessarily hang around, you could just power the Fadex and start the uh, start the engine straight away. We've had no IFR clearance, so we need to put in 2000 or 2200, uh, one of the two, into the transponder. So we've got power to the Fadex, ignition start, and we'll start engine 2. We obviously need to make sure the beacon is on as well. So what you can use, uh, there's distance control as an option. Um, but also, uh, I, I use rudder control. So you literally you use your rudder as you would to turn normally, and that controls the tug as you can see what I'm doing there. Uh, if you've got a th uh, joystick, what you can do is push back on the joystick and that increases the speed of the pushback. You can push forward on the, uh, on the joystick as if you're pitching the nose down and that slows the tug down. What's really awesome about this is uh, the fact that you can actually tow as well. So uh, especially on VATSIM, if you're parked in a cul-de-sac for a turnaround or for the start of a flight, you can actually tow the aircraft which is incredible um, and I'll show you guys that now all you do straighten the tug and you push forwards on the joystick and you'll see that speed on the tug uh, dripping down to zero if you keep holding that joystick forwards the tug tows us and rudder control again steers the aircraft left or right and uh, to stop you could just press that stop button and they'll tell you to apply the parking brake. So there's the parking brake. So one thing that's quite cool is uh, the fact that you can actually, um, so if I go into the settings, you can choose um, different, it says languages, um, you can choose different uh, accents, but also uh, you've got German and English as an accent, and you've got German, so you can speak German, French, Spanish. Um, so there's quite a few different language options for people there, suit quite a few needs. Um, and what you can also do is um, you can select window buttons, but you also you can choose distance. So you can have a distance mode for your pushback, and you can basically say, in uh, if you know this is uh, 25 meters for example you could go ahead and set 25 meters or 50 meters or whatever else and you could then stipulate that once it reaches 60 meters or whatever the figure is it turns left or right or just continues to push straight back um, and then there's a tick box for using ailerons for your final turn as well so that is quite cool but my favorite one is rudder control yeah I get more control out of it that way um, 
and you can see the pre-flight events there. You could, if you don't want power, for example, being an option, you can just untick that, and it will remove it from the uh, pre-pushback bar there. So I hope you guys found uh, the video useful. Um, it is payware, but it is most definitely my favourite um, app for um, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's it's a definite must if you're using VATSIM. Um, be sure to click the subscribe button uh, if you've enjoyed the video, and check out all of my other videos on the British AvGeek YouTube channel. Uh, see you guys very soon for another video. Thank you for watching.